always wanted to do an Escher show. And a few years ago, we were offered a show, and certain people here didn't think that we should do it. Um, they, I think they thought that Escher probably wasn't a real artist, or at least good enough for the North Carolina Museum of Art. And so I put that kind of on hold, but maybe three years ago, I started thinking that an Escher show would be a really good thing for the museum because people know Escher, even if they don't know his name, they know his work. And when I worked at the National Gallery, um, I got to see lots of Escher prints when I was working at the Prints and Drawings Department at the National Gallery. But when the gallery did the, their show, it was the best attended show the National Gallery has ever done. Bigger than King Tut, bigger than all the other shows they've done. And so I was able to use that and say, well, um, it's the most popular show the National Gallery has ever done, and I think it would do really well here. And I found out about an Escher collector in Winston-Salem. And so I went, called him up, and said I'd really like to come see your collection. And so I spent a day and a half going through his collection. And I told him that I was thinking of you know, writing a catalog or a book on Escher. And he said, well, do you know collector so-and-so? And I said, I've never heard of him. So he picks up the phone, calls collector number two, and says this guy's pretty serious about what he's gonna do. He'd like to see your collection. So a couple weeks later, I went up to see collector two. And then collector two, after I spent two and a half days, said, well, do you know collector three, four, and five? I said, no, never heard of them. Picked up the phone, called two, three, and four, and five. And so eventually, um, you know, their Escher collections have been to Texas, have been to Oregon, their collections in California. And so really when I saw the kinds of things they had in their collections, I knew I could do an Escher show that wasn't like any other Escher show that had ever been done. And that's when I got really excited. And that's when I came back to the director and the senior staff and said, we can do something that's going to be really special. The way you go through the show, it's roughly chronological. But I wanted to show Escher really in 3D. I wanted to show how he translated the ideas that he had in his mind onto paper. So there are wood blocks and there are drawings so that you can follow the process from his first inkling of an idea to the final print. Because when you look at an Escher in a book, all you see is the final print, and you see it in reproduction, and it's kind of flat, and it's sort of glossy black and white. It, it doesn't resonate the way when you look at an Escher, a real print, here at the museum. It's a it's hundred times better. How would you define art to the world, in your words? I don't know that I can define art, but I have a a sort of way that I define good art or great art and for me great art is better the second time that you look at it than the first and it's better the third time that you look at it than the second. Escher meets my criterion for what great art is. Mm -hmm.